This is Duke University. I remember the affinity I felt with the people who were suffering. Folks standing on top of homes that were about to be destroyed. For James Joseph, a former U.S. ambassador to South Africa and an emeritus professor at Duke Sanford School of Public Policy, it's hard to believe a decade has passed since Hurricane Katrina devastated his home state of Louisiana. Joseph recalls not only the physical damage of the storm, but how it exposed inadequate pre-existing conditions for the poor. Hurricane Katrina gave a human face to poverty and inequality. And the suffering was partly a result of that and partly a result of the damage created by the water. In the aftermath of the storm, Louisiana's governor asked Joseph to chair the Louisiana Disaster Recovery Fund, now called the Foundation for Louisiana. I felt a passion to do something. Over the past decade, the foundation has raised about $50 million for relief and renewal efforts. To us, recovery meant building a life that was better than the life that existed before the hurricane. During a week-long commemoration of Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans later this month, Joseph will be honored for his work, including training young leaders, helping the seafood industry recover, and getting people back on their feet. We provided loans and investments for building new homes and expanding the housing available to low-income people. Joseph believes Katrina leaves behind important lessons for all hurricane-prone coastal communities, such as making sure they have proper flood protection systems in place. I think more and more people are developing a new paradigm, which is living with water, rather than simply responding to the devastation created by water. Reporting for Duke University, I'm Julie Schoonmaker. Produced by Duke University.